welcome to Drinks with Coach. I'm your host, Thomas L. Harris, a.k.a. Coach. And I got a special, special guest today, man, my brother, my, my, my guy. But first, let me thank the sponsors, man. I want to thank Ty Mopkins and Mo2 VJ for the liquor and the wine they came through with. We got some of that vodka, we got some champagne, and then we got this beautiful red wine from Rose Line, man. Shout out to Ty Mopkins and Mo2 VJ, man. We appreciate you. All right, but check it out, man. Let's get right to it, man. I got my brother Murder Payne in the building. How you feeling, man? You man, feeling? Man, you got it, man. First, I want to say, man, look, I'm proud of you, man. Your growth, everything. You know, I've been around since the very, very, very beginning. So I seen where you started at. You know, and, uh, it's the same as I told you a long time ago, man. You the one. You know, I don't know if you knew <laughs> in that stairwell when we were shooting concrete. I said, man, you got something special, man, and, and the world, the world needs to see it. We here, man. So toast to that, man. Toast to, oh, some, yeah, man. to you, you know, and, and, and all you've been doing, bro. I'm going to smooth it over with a little of this wine. I ain't going to go heavy like you. Yeah, yeah. I'm going I'm, I'm to mess with this vodka. This vodka nice. It's mm. smooth, too. I like it. I like it. A bunny. It tastes decent, right. here. A bunny. Yeah. I might have to take this one with me. I oh, like man. It. Hey, it's all yours, man. <laughs> so, so let's get to it, man. So who is murder, man? Uh, I mean, like I always say, man, I'm just a fat kid from the ghetto. Like, uh. I'm, I'm just a kid, man. Happy to be here. Yeah. You know, I'm still learning every day and uh, trying to progress. So, you know. Yeah. Yeah. No, man. I I, I seen it, man. I, like I tell people all the time, man. You one of the the funnest people to be around, man. It's it's it's, it's like a comedy show. Man. You <laughs> Appreciate to that. Be around, man. You one of the most down to earth guys, man. So, does that come from like your childhood? Like, what was your childhood like? like I mean, yeah, yeah, it did. I played all the time, like you know. It's always a fun moment because, you know, we grew up how we grew up, but we had a beautiful childhood, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. So laughing and joking and playing was just one of the days, one of the ways we got through the day. Yeah. Even when things was rough. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Big family? Big family. Yeah, big family. Big family, yeah. Big family. Yeah, we all real close, tight-knitted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, matter as, as, speaking of that, your brother, right? Yeah. Jerry Scott is, is the writer of yep. most of the content yep. we do. Yep. Yeah. Shout yep. out to Kills, man. Yeah, shout out to Kills, man. Yeah. I just did some stuff with him, Family Ties. Me and him just wrote and produced, so, you know. Yeah, I can't to wait Kills. to see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, 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 he the one, man. He got it. He got that, he got that, 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 that it factor when it comes to that writing and them ideas. Man. Yeah, he got a, he got a vision that's crazy. Yeah, yeah, he do. So, right. now, so McGraw Ave, right? Right. That's where you grew up. That's right. where you from. You know, I've been over there for, since we first started filming years yeah, ago, and yeah, I remember going yeah. over there, and it was, who was a melting pot over there, man. You got all kinds of nationality, na nationality, mm -hmm. cultures, uh, Dominican, Puerto Rican, Hispanic, Jamaican, Haitian, Cuban. I mean, it's a melting pot, Romanian. You know what I'm saying? So, what was it like growing up over there? I mean, it was amazing, man. It's like, I mean, quite naturally, it made us all well-rounded and mm -hmm. knowing how to communicate with. Every nationality, with, yeah. you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. and um, it was very cultured. Like now, nah, it's, it's it ain't like it used to be. It was full of life when we was growing up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody was outside. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, for sure. For and sure. it was always something to get into. Like mm -hmm. you could easily go the wrong way, but you could easily go the other way. Yeah, yeah. Did you go the other way? <laughs> I went both ways. <laughs> went both Balls. ways. Balls. <laughs> yeah, boss. <balls. laughs> <laughs> no, but but uh. But, yeah, no, I mean, you know, that's back in the day, everybody was outside. We yeah. all had a blast. We all, you know, everybody was, was, was hanging out. Yeah, you know man, it was, like, it, was, it, was, it was a good yeah. time. It Some of the best time. food, okay? Oh, yeah. Is in Southwest, I'm telling you. Oh, yeah, you know what we always say? The East Side ain't got this. Yeah, Buck, y'all ain't got uh, this, Buck. Yeah, Buck, you ain't got this. Yeah. Uh, Cino, y'all ain't got yeah. this over there. You yeah, know, y'all ain't got this, man. Not, not, not this over here. It's, it's different. It's different. Yeah, man. it is, yeah. So, now, when I met you, you was a rapper. Right. Right? Tell me about that. Like, what was the process of rapping and how you came all the way over to this? Because cause, cause you, you can rap, man. I oh, appreciate it. songs I got that I say to my favorites, because it's a couple, man, that, you know, a lot more than a couple, but I'm, I'm saying, like, you could really rap, man. So why make the transition? Why, why stop rapping? Um, I never stopped rapping. I just stopped dedicating my time to it. Mm. You know, because I found... That's my first love. Music gonna always be my first love. Yeah. Right? But um, when I started acting, I caught the bug. And it's, 
I just fell in love and wanted to perfect that. Yeah. Yeah, you believe that, you know, sometimes you might be in love with something and it might not work and you got to just yeah. move on. Or, or you might, like you said, stumble upon something that is meant for you. And you got to, yeah, even I mean, though as much as you love it, you got to transition to what your purpose is. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's, it's just like a girl. Yeah. You can love them to death and find something that's, you know. Better for you. It's better for you. Oh, y'all not be, might not be good for each other, right? Right. Yeah, no doubt. No, I get that, yeah. So I still, you know, I still can get on a song with anybody and kick some ass. Though. No, okay. All you right. <laughs> we ain't going to never forget that. <laughs> Say, that ain't going to never go nowhere. Yeah, that ain't going to never go nowhere. Right, I can dig it, man. So why, why, why acting, though? I don't think it's what made me do it, and I don't think it's, like, something I chose. It, it, it like, kind of chose me. Mm -hmm. Right? Like, even from the first time to ever be in a movie or to act or anything, it was like I was just threw in there. Mm. Right? And you know that because you was the guy. I was like on the sideline. Yeah. He was like, hey, uh, just play this part. I'm like, I am not finna play no part. And you threw me in there. And I'm a passionate person, yeah. you know? Yeah. And I played the role and the excitement and the feedback that I got from you was amazing because you remember I used to call you the best actor alive. Right, right, right. Right? Yeah. So the feedback I got from you was like, damn, maybe something I could do. Mm -hmm. You know? And yeah. I still didn't want to do it. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, I remember, I remember right? the, uh, the concrete days. I remember that. Right? And then uh, 211 got like kind of threw on my lap. Yeah. And, and that process I fell in love with. 211, that's funny because that, that, you got a funny story behind 211, right? Of how it was supposed to be this big marketing push for your, actually for your mixtape. Yep, for my mixtape. Right? Yep. And I don't think you guys really realized how 211 was gonna jumpstart your actually Never. actually your acting career. Never thought. Yeah. Tell me, tell me the story. What what who who was the ones behind that? Hey, we gotta make this movie to push the record or uh T. Yeah. Derek Scott. Shamar Avery. They like, come on man, we gotta tell. It was like, what do we do to push this mixtape? Yeah. And they Got 211, 211 was written up, and um, I'm at the studio every day, mm -hmm. all right? And we start filming. I had just finished the mixtape, I'm ready to drop it, I want to drop it. I got a little buzz, I'm like, come on, man, let's drop it now. They're like, no, nah, let's wait for the movie to come, yeah. right? So we shoot the movie, I get excited, I drop it, like a month before the movie come out, yeah, I mean. right? So when the DVDs come out, all, the mu all my music is in 211. When the DVDs come out, we package the DVDs with the CD. I remember that. Right? I remember that. I remember that. Yeah. And it was like, 211 just caught fire. Like, ah, fuck the CD. We want to watch the movie. They was yeah. asking the streets. Yeah. What? <laughs> what the streets yeah. feel about this they CD? They was giving it to the streets. They giving it to the streets. Like, fuck the, mu the music. I'm loving the movie. Yeah. yeah. And it was like, the movie just kept catching fire, kept, yeah. kept catching fire. Yeah. So I was, remember that. Yeah. So I it was like, yeah. this is what I need to be putting my time into. Yeah. I remember that. I remember because, you know, um, after Concrete, you know, we all kind of took a break. You mm -hmm. went and did 211. I went and did, you know, more more uh, stage plays and things like that. And I remember, you know, coming to the premiere, and it was just packed. It was so out. I mean, Vez brought about 50, 60 people with him. Uh, 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 C brought, like, uh, two busloads with him. And it was what? just Packed. I'm talking about it was packed in there, and I just remember the reaction of the crowd. It was going it's crazy. crazy. And then, you know, Cash Doll was my lady in there. Yeah, yeah. The doll, shout out to the doll. Yeah, shout out to my baby, man. That's my best hill forever. Yep, I remember in, in uh, Day and, and, and Forever Fast Life Tale, we miss you. Yeah. You know, they, they, they did their thing, man. You know, oh, man. One of the most iconic scenes was when, you know, when Tail hopped out the whip with the. Uh, Oh, yeah, the the yeah, yeah. The, yeah, you know that's like our that's like our, our, our boys in the hood with dog hanging out the window or or, or the or the menace society drive like that's our moment right there. That's, that's, that's his moment. Hey, I gotta get the fuck away from you, man. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I remember that. That was that was. I think that jump started the the whole situation. I believe two eleven was the jump start of it was uh, man, and that what and that's what today. gave us all the bug. Yeah. Like, you know, when I sat in the theater and watched it, because I still was like, yeah. it was damn near like, like just us 
be on who we was, yeah. but with a script. Yeah, 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 for sure, for sure. Yeah. Right? So when yeah. I sat back and watched it in the theater and seen the outcome and how it looked yeah. and the reaction we got from the yeah. crowd, yeah. it was a no-brainer. It was over with for me. Yeah, it was on after that. It was on because, you know, right after that we went to Buffed Up and it was on after that. It was on. Yeah, no, no, it was, it was, it was. So a lot of people don't have that it factor. I believe you definitely have the effect. You think I'm it? I know. I, I know it. I've seen it. I've, I've, I've been around it. I've, <laughs> you know, I've been around people. Appreciate that. that. I, I, it's, just, it's just you got something that a lot of people don't have. You know what I'm saying? You always known that even growing up? Or or is it just something that you figured out after? Um, I just always been comfortable with being me, mm. no matter what. So yeah. I think people take to that. Yeah. The fact that I'm just me, no matter what. Yeah. Up, down. Yeah. Happy, sad, I'm just the same. I'm, you know. You don't change around nobody. Yeah, I don't. I am, I am who I am. Why do the streets love you so much? Because I remember being out in Florida, me, you, uh, we were out there for the for our, our yep. trip, you know what I'm saying, after McGraw had season two. And I remember going to that club in Orlando, and I just remember all these these guys from the South and, and the ladies. And it was just like the love they showed you, but they always kept saying, man, real street, real street, authentic, man, you were real street. And I remember listening, like, wow, like, what is it that makes them feel that way about you? Like, what is it? I mean, you know when a person is like, from where you're from. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Like, it's not a thing of, oh, he's a big gangster or he's a killer. Or, it's not that. It's like, they feel like we family. They mm -hmm. feel like I'm a cousin of or a brother, like I, I get it. They rep you represent them in a in a in a in a right way, like right. in the authentic way. Right. It's yeah. like they get it. It's like you could tell I'm from around the way. Around the way. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So it's not me poking my chest out or I'm the toughest guy or none of that because I'm not none of that. Yeah. You know I'm just from where I'm from, so yeah. you can see it. McGraw ass baby. You can feel it. <laughs> yeah, McGraw baby, man. McGraw baby. You can feel it. You know. At what point did you begin to understand that your success was global? Like, at what point? Like, um, was it a certain message you got? Was it a certain somebody saw you? Like, what okay. made you understand, like, whoa, this is, this is big? Um, the, the thought came when I started getting messages from people, like, the Bahamas. Africa, like, whoa, y'all watching this in Africa? Yeah. But yeah. the biggest for me is when... I got the DM from Shaq. Yeah. Right? And it was at a, I was, remember I told you, I had got up because I hadn't been home right, in right, so right. long. Right. And I got up and the lights was off. And I'm yeah. like, oh shit, I, I ain't paid no light bill. So I get up doing the reg, I get on the phone. While I'm on the phone, I'm strolling. And I see Dr. Shaquille. I'm like, I'm in the dark though, right? Yeah. I'm on the phone with DTE. Yeah. I'm like, Appreciate you, man, but I know this ain't my man Shaq, <laughs> right? And then when I got the videos and he actually showed me that he was watching it, yeah, it blew my mind. Like, okay, nah, if these are watching it, we got something crazy. Yeah. It's He's something, something. Shaq. Yeah, it is. Shaq. This, this Shazam. This, this Shazam. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> this, this big Shaq, baby, Shaq Diesel. I'm like, wow, it yeah. blew my mind. But when I started noticing we was bigger than just local. Yeah. Is when we go to places, yeah. you know what I'm saying, and everybody like, oh, it's, oh, it's them, it's, yeah. and that's when you got to feel like, whoa, yeah. this bigger than what we think. Yeah, yeah, it, it is, it is, because I remember we was in L.A. out in Venice on Venice Beach, and uh, I remember it was so funny, man. We was having a blast, and and, and you know, people were like, oh my God, that's murder, that's murder, and it's like, oh, and that's the nigga that's chasing him, the cop, <laughs> and I'm like, that's me, that's me, that's me. Yeah, and they're and like. I remember that, and I just remember being like, "Wow, these people really know our films." Like, "Oh, that's from Buffed Up. That's my man from Buffed Up." Mm -hmm. And it and it was just like Venice, like we out in L.A., like L.A. And I'm talking about you know young guys, older guys. It was a variety of people. I mean, that was when we got the rookie. Remember, we was on, we was in L.A. We was in L.A. When uh, I seen him, they like a uh, Beezy TV. I took oh, the picture. Oh, that's of him. right. Yeah, I forgot. Right? Remember? We sure did. He was walking in like, hey. Yeah, we sure that, did. They that's jumped right. out and came to take yep. the picture. That's right, that's right. And they're like, my cousin is uh, 
in training camp. Yeah, you yeah, might go K- to Detroit. Yeah, K- K- Kane come here. Yeah, yeah. I remember like, that. He, look, he yeah. love your movies, Yeah, man. I, that's I'm right. Like, that's right. We met him on Venice Beach on the strip. Yeah? Shout like, out wow, to K. Kane Ham Ashton, Shout out to K, man. man. TV, man. And then he came. When we came home, remember? They like, draft on your birthday. Yeah. They came, actually, they came on set. They came on set. With Ashton, BZ, and K. Brother. Yep, they all came on set. And they like, uh. Remember Ashton, like, we got a, we gonna have a birthday present for you. Yeah. Yeah. Where was we at? Because we was out of town when we got the. I don't remember. When we I got remember, drafted. We was on funny. set when we got drafted. It's funny. A lot of people don't know Ashton. No, not, uh, yeah, he had came over there before the draft because they mm-hmm. kind of knew they was going to go to Detroit. Yeah. And um, and he asked us, man, you know, what's some, what, what, what was it? What could Kate do that, you know, really solidify him in Detroit? And I can't remember who told him, but somebody was like, man, he got to put on some buffs. They put some buffs on. Put on some buffs on. He going to be. But remember, they was already Detroit. asking where did they get buffs from before we told them. Remember, he was like, "Oh, that's right, yeah." yeah, yeah. Asked, like, where do I get some authentic yeah. buffs from? Yeah, yeah. And we was talking stuff yeah. to him. I like, remember that, yeah. And he slapped them boys on too. That was yeah. that was that was classic, man. Shout out to them boys, man. Oh, they, them they, boys they, went crazy, they, man. They show love, man. They really down to earth. Shout out Ash and K, BCTV, man. They big supporters, man. We big supporters of them, man. So you know, it, 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 it's all love, man. And, and speaking of support, how important you know is is family to, to murder, like? What does family do for you, like, especially because oh. you know you in a you in a career where it's it's hectic, it's crazy, it's chaotic, you know, all kinds of people that don't you have no clue who they are, what their intentions are, or, you know, you you really gotta protect yourself and the people around you. And I, I always wanna know how important is your family to you, to your structure, to just you. Period. Man, family is everything to me. I mean, as you know, I'm always I gotta go see my nieces. Yeah, I gotta yeah, go, you know, I'm close with them. Like yeah. we talk, call. Mm-hmm. It's like a thing. I I can't do nothing without them. Like they keep me grounded and they keep me happy. You know that like that's my satisfaction right there. Laughing with them, chilling with them. It's like I can be myself. There's no cameras around. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's just us. Yeah. And enjoying each other. So family is everything to me. Yeah. Yeah. I know. <laughs> Cause y'all all some goofballs. <laughs> You, your brother, and your cousins, and all oh, of y'all. Yeah, man, we man, got y'all the, is goofy, man. The best laughs. Yeah, man. No, the Scott brothers, man. We always say on set, man. The Scott brothers is different. They, they, they don't they, hold no punches, no, man. They gonna let you they know say what exactly. Come out their mouth, man. man. Right Especially there. Especially kills. He said, whatever come out his mouth, he just say it. It's right there. Yeah. Man, shout out to kills, man. I love. Them. Even down to the little kids. Yeah. Oh man. Shout out Tooley. Shout out AJ, man. Them boys, man. Oh man. Cold as little Kyra. Yes, they are. Yes, they Cold are. Kyra, yeah. Baby so, bees. Do you believe that independent, and I say independent, but we're all actors, but I'm making, you know, I want to make sure I, this industry is specific. Independent film actors get their, do you believe they get what they deserve? Like, are they getting more respect now? You know, it's starting. Are they getting more, you know, uh, awareness uh, and respected more in the industry? Yeah, I mean, it's like anything, you know. It got to it gotta start from somewhere. Yeah. You know, we was just starting. Definitely. We was just starting to make a push and a noise. Yeah. So I, I definitely feel like we starting to get the recognition and the love and support that we supposed to get, but it's we supposed to get it because we're working for it. Yeah. At first we wasn't working for it. Yeah. You know, it wasn't yeah. no work. Now we working hard for it. So of course I feel like we're getting what we deserve at this moment. Yeah. In in the I remember in the very beginning, I remember um, you know, there wasn't no Films to audition for here, you know what I'm saying? Nah. Films to audition, not not you know. Hey, this one like really it is good, right man. Now. Huh? This one really good. It is. Yeah. I'm gonna try it, man. I got I got four one gonna come through, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sip some with four one. He said he's a red wine drinker too, but I had to take the vodka. The vodka is good. I ain't gonna lie, to you. That, that vodka smooth as hell. So I ain't gonna lie. You know I'm a cognac drinker, so I could. Yeah, you can't touch the vodka. But this this here I like. Yeah. I'm smooth but, it over. But yeah, but you know I remember when when you know. There was no such thing as, as you know, I mean, I was such a thing, but there wasn't any work here, right. so to speak. Now, it's it's every week. Somebody got a movie every week. Yeah, man, we created work, a so. market, man. Yeah, you know? the, the market is definitely growing. You know what I'm saying? So, to see that and to understand that Detroit is really a, a film place now. Yeah, we on fire. We, we are on fire. Fire. So yeah, people flying in like you to do have movies. To yeah, yeah. Fly out to get them. Like people yeah, no, they, flying they in. They flying in. You know what I'm saying? From everywhere. From from all over to do yeah. films with 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 people in Detroit. So 
Yeah. I'm just proud of the community. We got to just keep growing. Oh, man, I learning. appreciate the community, yeah. man. And no, shout out I, to all I, the I filmmakers. Love I love it. Um, so, just to kind of stay on that, what, what, what's it like, though, to come and see so many people working now? Because remember, like I just said, it was a pain where nobody's working. Nobody. What is it like now to see that? To we be couldn't even high? find people. We used to have to catch. I remember that. If you see, like, 211 or nothing, we used to have to get people off the street. Hey, come here. Yeah, I remember that. Hey, my man, stand right here. <laughs> I remember that. Right? I remember that, yes. We used to do casting calls and nobody would come to the extra call. Like, I, it'd be like, we'd have to call our friends. Everybody calling their friends. They cousins. Niggas like, all right, when I get off work. <laughs> hey, man, I got to go catch it. Like, come on, man. Just real quick, man. I remember that. If you look, you know, if you look, if you go back and see 211, mostly everybody in 211 is not actors. They they are just people, friends, family, guys that we just. That nobody was like, actors. Yeah. I remember that. Not even us. Not even the main I character. I remember that. I remember that. I remember that. And I said, dang. And we did it for Buffed Up. If you go yeah. in the E-Course project, shout we out to E-Course. Everybody in E-Course. Yeah, we using everybody in E-Course. Everybody in E-Course. <laughs> even Quant. Hey, come here, man. Uh, Quant, we, yep. Yeah, he's yeah. funny, man. Come here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to MH Quant, man. That was my, man. That's my boy, man. Yeah, we sure did. That's right. Like, and he killed it, too. He was funny. He killed was it. Hilarious. You got to think, nobody was actors in those two movies. Yeah. Except for you. Yeah, that's true. Damn. He was the only true. actor in the I movie. Was. I was the only actor. Well, by that time. Only only guy with acting experience. With acting like, experience. We were all actors. But yeah. The only guy with a, with, the, with the background. That came with a background. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you can see it. Yeah. Like, you can see it. Yeah, yeah. No, that's crazy. Wow. I didn't even realize that, but you're right. Jesus. Whew. So, what's, what's murder's influence on the culture? Like, how do you feel like you influence the culture? Um... I definitely feel like um, we gave that real feel. We gave the something you can relate to. Yeah. That everybody around the world can relate to. That come from yeah. humble beginnings. Like, sure, you know, sure. you can relate to us. Yeah. And that's what made it so well. It was relatable. We wasn't trying to make a, fi a Hollywood film. We wasn't trying to make that. Do you think that, do you think that, that a lot of films were misrepresented of course from, Hollywood, from 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 the films that of course that, that are made by us like of know. course yeah. of course i think um they was making television gangster movies or not even gangster they was making they felt like it was a standard to make a street quality movie mm. you feel me like what is it that was missing? Just the authenticity? It was missing the you know? authenticity. Well, it, it was authentic because that's what they seen on TV. Right. Right? Right. Like, you got to think. When we seen Menace, it was like the closest. Oh, Menace was that. Menace was. You feel what I'm saying? Menace it was like was, yeah. it was like the to closest. To this day, Menace is still. It's still like. We were just talking about it the other day. Yeah. Right? He's so, dead. Leave me where he's dead. <laughs> I can't leave him. All right. You stay with him. All right. I'm, I'm so, saying. So, right? Yeah. It was like, it, it was yeah, like no, the yeah. closest. To something we can relate to, like okay, yeah. we seen that. Yeah, for sure. No, Menace. I'm gonna tell you when Menace came out. Uh, it changed. I mean, I remember seeing my brother and them. You know, they were really in the heavy in the gang banging back then. You know, and I remember seeing them. His friend hair was like old dogs. You know, had his hair like old dogs, and he started talking like old dog. And yeah. I remember it. I was I was I was about ten or eleven, but I remember seeing this. Movie and it was like so real to me. It was right. like, wow, yeah. I know an old dog who just don't care about life, like just doesn't care about his life, you know, and or so care about whatever. And I remember it, and I was, and it, yeah, that. But the, but the problem I felt like was we got that film, and then the next film that made us feel like okay, I I, I knew some guys like that, or my uncles, or my dads, and it was like I I remember. As being a little little kid, seeing that that type of stuff was was uh, a paid full. Paid in full. So you're talking yes. about a ten year gap between films. Yes. You know, because when you see paid. But you see how 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 that make you feel though. You see how those type of movies yeah. give you a feeling like yeah, yeah. Like damn, I was there or yeah. I seen this. It yeah. make you feel like you're a part of it. Yeah, for sure. Fact. So that's 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 I think that's what we brought. Yeah, I I think we brought that. Um, and we, we kept bringing it. Like, it, it, you know, we were dropping maybe once a year at, the, at that time. At that time, yeah. Um, but, you know, nobody had ever seen these films of this, like, 
authentic feel. And it's back to and back. It's back it's, to back. And it's from different and angles. It's from different angles. You're going from from uh, raw knucklehead to eleven. Pure but comedy about some glasses, like <laughs> that's. But that's the culture. It's the you know culture, it's right? It's the culture. It's what it is. It's the culture. Then it's five zero, and you got to think it's about dirty cops. And yeah. We've seen this. Yeah, yeah. We've seen yeah. this over and over yeah. again, growing up yeah. all over the world. And before you say the next one, because the next one, um, Plug yeah. Love, it went through the roof, man. And people don't know that Plug Love might have been our lowest numbers of attendees when it comes to the premiere. It was. You know what I'm saying? It was like a, a, a the lowest, but it's the biggest film we've made. One of them. The only one I think may be able to, gonna I was in the premiere, terrified. Is, is, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, 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 when I got the feedback, when we dropped it, when we actually dropped it, it was ridiculous. It was ridiculous. It was I remember uh, sitting in the theater, man, like, this shit too slow. This shit too slow. Because when nobody reacted, and everybody was like zoned in. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, bro, we dropped the ball, man. It's too slow. <laughs> right? And when, it, and when it hit the I streets, there, it went crazy. It went crazy. Did we? Now, the one thing I can't remember, I know we did DVDs, but we, did we also put it, we put it on, on, that's the first time we put it on streaming sites, right? Or was that? 5 0 went on streaming sites first. Oh. Right? But remember, we made the DVDs to both. Yeah. We didn't. You're right. No, not about streaming sites. So we right. pressed up DVDs. You're right. You're right. And we're like, damn, these yeah. DVDs ain't selling. <laughs> then we start figuring out niggas don't even got DVD players no more. <laughs> they was flinging and we was giving them DVDs up free. No, the 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 South, man, the South, they ain't plug love up. Yeah. They ain't plug love up. The South, I, I think the South, New Orleans, Florida, yeah. uh, Mississippi, you know, all, all through there, man. Oakland, the West Coast. Yeah. When it got to New York, it just New York, it just yeah. It, I mean, it just it, it was crazy. It was crazy. It was crazy to see the love and the feedback and everything we got for Plug Love. Like it was crazy. Yeah, it that was, was kind of like our notebook, believe it or not. But it wasn't notebook. I'm not comparing it to notebook. I'm saying like yeah, you a know, cult romantic film. And you know, no, the Notebook, one of my favorite movies anyway. Oh, Notebook so. classic. Yeah, it classic, classic movie, great movie. So, but. I'm just saying it's one of the it's a it's a cult classic. Yeah, it's a cult classic. That's all I'm and then again, it came from a song I wrote. It did. Yeah. I was remember I actually wrote the I I, I wrote the treatment for that video. Yeah, for the video. I remember I wrote the treatment for the video and then we did and then uh T and Kills went in there and they started writing. Actually, no, I lied. It came from the book. Huh? Right? Remember there was a song and then there was a book. There was a and book. then we can remember I made part two in McFashion. I, I sent it to Joe. When I did part two, when I wrote part two, they saw a bad we was about to do. Yeah. Uh, Fast Life Two, and I sent him the song, and he kept playing it, and then T heard it. T called me like, "Man, it's crazy," <laughs> and that's when the writing the plug love started happening. Yeah, no plug love. It, it, it's it's. Yeah. It's like no other. Yeah. But I remember also. I remember it's crazy because we we were. I don't know if we ever felt like we were gonna reach the heights of another plug love. I remember, I remember like, damn man, well, I don't know if we're gonna reach another plug love. And I remember uh, T coming to us about a series, a yeah. true series called McGraw. And so, you know, I remember uh, he was like, man, we need another cop. I remember because we was doing, the, I, I was the man cop. And uh, I, I told him, man, I know a guy, you know, actor, he's really good, I went to school or whatever. And uh, call the shit you believe. His name was Justin. <laughs> We brought him on board, and I remember filming with him, and I'm like, man, this is gonna be dope. We doing big old shootout scenes and kicking doors, and it's right up my alley. Flipping <laughs> over chairs and tackling. I'm like, oh, this is up my alley. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I love this. And then I remember canceling the production, and the production got canceled. Like, now we ain't yeah. doing it. And I'm like, oh. It was too much. It was it was the load yeah, was too it big. Was, it was so big, and then I remember uh, we brought it back, and we like, man, we gonna finish it. And, and we, we started shooting it again. That's when I went viral on the Western name. Remember, I couldn't get my hair cut. Yeah. <laughs> so my shit, all this is just everywhere. Yeah, I remember that. When I had, it was like, like, yeah, he just had a fade. Now he got a fro. Yeah. And, had, then, uh, and then the the uh, the, the, the sling. Yeah, I had yeah. my hair like that I for two that. years. Yeah. But I remember also, too, that um, COVID hit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it stuck everybody in the house. And I remember when we dropped it. It caught like a wildfire. Caught like a wildfire. And I just remember everybody was in the house and they had nothing else to do, so they just 
it was like one of the, it was like right time, right place, right moment. I think that's, I think it was all God. Like, you know, that's when they just say, yeah, God be the door crack, man. Yeah, yeah. And let the angels in. Cause yeah. um, it was in the trash, man. It was. If COVID would have never hit, we don't know if we would have never released. Yeah, I don't, I don't think we would I don't know if we would actually did it. It was in the trash. Yeah. The but, fact but that. But it's crazy because we had it done already, though. Yeah, we so had finished COVID, it. When COVID hit, I'm not sure if it would have took flight as fast as If it COVID did. didn't hit, it would have never released. Yeah. We would have threw it in the trash because remember? He was having those talks. Oh, no, it's not good enough. Yeah. The continuity's terrible. Yeah, yeah, no. I, I, whew, I'm glad it did, though. I'm glad it did, too. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm glad it did, because, man. We was going to release the mule. Oh. We was going to release the mule yeah. and go right back to filming yeah, something I else. That. I remember that. We did birthday. We had released birthday baby, and we were going to release the mule. And, it and then we was going to go film something else, because yeah. McGrath was in the trash already. It's over with. So thanks to COVID, man. Shout out to COVID. No, no, don't thank COVID, okay? We're not shouting out COVID. <laughs> no, you got to shout out because <laughs> it would have never happened. McGraw would have never happened. No, yeah, no, it wouldn't have, though. That's crazy. That, 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 that's crazy. So when it's all said and done, man, what's, what's Murder's legacy? What's the legacy? Um, it's all said and done, man. I want to I wanna, I wanna be known as... That guy that opened it up, you know, the guy that, that opened the doors for for the for the for the guys to come behind me and say I could do this, I could have my own company, we could do it our way. We pushed our vision. Like when it's all said and done, that's all I want. That's it. That's it. That's all you want. That's all I want. That's it. That's it. You don't want to be no. I'm messing with you, man. That's no. That's, <laughs> that's that's, it, I man. think I think that's that's um. I think that's 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 one of the things that I've always said that you know you got in the bag is is, is your your humbleness, very humble, very very down to earth. You know what I'm saying? Always willing to to reach back and help. And I think that's one of the biggest keys, you know, to why you are where you're at right now. Appreciate that. You know what I'm saying so. Man, I just want to thank you for joining me, man. I appreciate you, man. Uh, it look like you like the wine. Yeah, I like you put this. A this dent decent. In that boy. Yeah, this decent. Here. Let me put a dent. In. I got a like little buzz, but for real, man. You know, when no, we yeah. was coming, when we was coming, it, it seemed impossible. Yeah. And damn, for damn sure, couldn't do it the way we do it. No, thanks. To where you could do your vision, what you see. Yeah. You know. Mm -hmm. No, I I know one hundred percent what you're talking about. Yeah. So. That's what. The goal is to let these young guys know that they can do it their way. Mm -hmm. And you don't need all the big. If you really want to do it, you're going to do it with less. Definitely. You know? Mm -hmm. yeah. So. Man, I appreciate you coming on the show, man. You know you know how we roll always. I appreciate always you, always Coach. Love, man. Hey, y'all, I appreciate y'all for joining me. I am your host, Thomas L. Harris, a.k.a. Coach, man. And you just joined us with Drinks with Coach. And I, I hope to see y'all next Take time. Take another shot before so. got to do that, man. I appreciate always. you. Thanks for having me. Yeah, you already Yeah, I like that. I think I'm gonna take this with me.